this was actually not the first time that I was attempting to study for the GMAT. I had given it a shot back in 2018-19. I also given it a shot in 2022, not with top 1%, but with other providers, again, very renowned providers. Uh, but I never felt confident enough to actually go ahead and give the exam. But after I joined top 1%, um, I felt that I can give it a shot now. I felt prepared enough. Uh, verbal has always been something I was very confident about. But when it comes to math, when it comes to the numbers, I always thought like I'm not good at it. It was just something I had an inhibition in my mind that math is not something I can do. I I, I followed everything to the T, did not uh, skip anything like I've said. And um, then I completed the entire quant, like all the videos, all the, the class session guides, everything as we were recommended to. And uh, then I started practicing all the quant 700 to 800 questions. And uh, then when I went for the exam, it was like really a breeze. Like I had almost over 10 minutes to spare. Um, wow. in, the section. in the quant yeah. section, yes. Yeah. yeah. So over 10 minutes to spare. And um, yeah, that's how it went. And then I had a, I had bookmarked a couple of questions. I went back, revised them, uh, changed one answer as well, and uh, got it from incorrect to correct. That's great. So did you make any mistake at all or no mistake in point? Uh, no, no mistake at the end of it. Yeah. Oh, wow.